Welcome to Tottenham Hotspur, Ryan Sessegnon. That's right, it's your boy George Achillea back two days in a row and today is transfer deadline day and it is getting very, very hectic at Spurs. Yesterday I put out a video saying that we are potentially signing loads of players today on transfer deadline day with the likes of Dybala, Lo Celso, Sessegnon, Atal, uh, Coutinho, I mean Bruno Fernandes, the list goes on, there's plenty of players that we linked with, but it's officially been announced that we have signed Ryan Sessegnon for £25 million. Pounds. The fee is believed to be £25 million, going up to 30 including bonuses and all of that. And we believe that he signed a five-year deal with an option for a sixth. So relatively long-term, which is great to hear as he is a young, under-21 England international. So to have him for a few years will be fantastic. And hopefully that means we can also keep Danny Rose so we can train him under his wing and teach him how to go from a left wing to a solid left back. So that now means so far in this window, Spurs have signed Ndombele, Jack Clark and Ryan Sessegnon. Jack Clark being another young player who we loaned straight back. But I do believe also that Josh Onoma has gone the other way to Fulham as part of the deal. So what does this deal with Ryan Sessegnon mean for Spurs and how is he going to fit into the squad? Well, as a lot of people seem to think he is a, they think he's just a straight up left back, which is not true. He's actually started as a left winger in his career when he had an amazing season in the championship last year. Uh, with Fulham, he made it into the uh, team of the season. I believe he was also a young player of the season. And he played, I believe, predominantly left back then. But he is mainly known for being a left winger. Now, last year, he struggled at Fulham. Couldn't really get into the first team that often. Uh, bouncing between left wing and left back. I mean, they did sign Sherlow and a bunch of other players for about 100 million. Um, but unfortunately, he didn't make it in. However, I think this is a solid signing for Spurs as it is a young player that can develop well 100% under Pochettino and hopefully become England's first choice left back in the future. Whether he walks into the Spurs lineup is a totally different story. We obviously already have Ben Davis, who recently just signed a new contract. Danny Rose has been told he's free to leave, but nothing has happened as yet. But there's still three weeks to go before he could leave. But what I really like about this Sessegnon transfer is that it does mean we have another option for left mid or left wing. Whether that means we're playing a different formation with some playing up front with Kane and then we have Sessegnon out on the left, Maybe we revert back to the three at the back and have Sessegnon as a left wing back. I think that could work well for him. But overall, I don't think moving to three or five at the back for Spurs is the best thing to do. However, it just means that we have the option in that position. So the versatility of him being able to play left wing, left mid, left back is perfect for Spurs um, in case there are any injuries. I mean, Son misses the first two games, I believe, is due to his suspension. Um, so does Foyth, but he's injured anyway. Um, so it, it provides a lot of backup for either left back or left wing, which is great for Spurs. However, he is still very young um, and at the moment it's probably going to be a squad player and I doubt he'll walk into the team. I don't think he'll play against Aston Villa because that's in uh, two days time. Hasn't trained with the team and like I said, uh, struggled against the first team for Fulham last year. So I doubt he's going to walk into ours as well. Saying that, Ben Davis, I think is still injured from his uh, surgery and Danny Rose, nobody knows what's happening. Um, I, he's played in the preseason, so he probably will play on Saturday. However, he has been allowed to talk with other teams. Um, there's now rumours of Watford trying to get him on the last day. Um, I think PSG have been linked with him as well. So whether he's going to be around this weekend, we don't know just yet. There is still a couple of hours to go in the window. So we'll see what happens there. But it looks like a good signing for Spurs. Young player that could progress well under Pochettino. And I'm looking forward to seeing him in that Spurs shirt. Right, well, that's it for the quick announcement and a bit on Ryan Sessegnon. Please make sure to like down below, leave a comment what you think about this signing and subscribe down below because there's still just over an hour left of the window and there seems to be plenty more going on at Spurs and plenty more announcements to come. So stick around and I'll see you in a bit. Come on, you Spurs. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast. Call me a shooting star.